All right, Chicago Blackhawk fans. Just finished this awesome arcade machine here. Turn the volume down. Oh, or up. Goes even louder. So this one, uh, fully enclosed, so there's no holes anywhere on it. And uh, it's still really loud. You have the 2.1 subwoofer sound in here. Uh, we have uh, over 17,000 games. Oh, yeah, there we go. 17,032 games. So every class of game you can imagine. Some you never thought of. So got the full library of the Big N. Some arcade games there. This will have um, like Daytona USA 2. It looks awesome on here too, like the resolution's way higher than you would have seen the original arcades. Full PlayStation Portable Library, all of the PlayStation games. These are all the classic point and click PC games or lots of fun back in the day. So yeah, I'll show you the DS games here. So, uh, Go in our S's. Actually, I won't be able to play this while I'm holding the camera. So I'll do that after. Just to show you the side of the cab here. So got a pretty powerful PC in here. With, uh, it's a two terabyte hard drive, so I was able to fit the entire GameCube library, full PSP and everything. No problems. Got the USB port here on the side. So you can plug in a, like, PlayStation 4 controller, like, using, or an Xbox 360 controller. Got the graphics on the, on the other side. 19-inch monitor. It's a 1280 by 1024 resolution. So you got a like really awesome picture quality. You can see here, the trackball, which can also change to green color. I have the switch in the back there, you can just switch it. And uh, this button here is, to, uh, is the button for the trackball. Use it because this is a smaller cab, I wasn't able to fit all the full eight button set, like on the 32 inch. So I put the button here instead. It actually works uh, very well. Also got the sound act activated LEDs. See them changing with the music. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to set up the camera. I'll show you uh, a little bit of gameplay for the DS or the trackball, it's pretty neat. Oh, I hope it doesn't move too much. So you see the button here. Just gonna find the game here. Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, the power button on this is on the left side here. Just in the back, just touch it, turns right off. Volume controls on the right side. 
Nice, easy to get to, all nice and hidden. Yeah, so you got your trackball. See the cursor moving here? And then this is your button, just be like you're touching the screen on the DS. So hopefully you can see all that on the trackball. I mean on the camera. Yeah, see? Looks perfect. It's actually uh, better than actually playing on the original system. Got a giant screen, got an actual trackball. It's like in the arcade. And the DS is actually. Uh, Hard system to emulate. Oh my god. I died. I'm gonna give that one a shot one more time. Yeah, in this game, you actually. I'm actually controlling the ball with the land itself. Doing better, some practice. Oh, too fast. One left. One running out of time. I've got to add there's a time limit. I guess there's no end to that one. Okay, one more, one more. Where am I going?
This is what happens, right? You don't realize how much time you're spending on her. It's so much fun. Playing a game like this. You wouldn't think it, but... This is a blast. And, uh, where else are you going to get to play Super Monkey Ball, like, at the actual arcade machine? I've only played that one ever once in the arcade, and with the ball on it. In Toronto. Can you imagine how much that machine costs? Care about getting the bananas. Just want to finish the level. Ah. I got a couple. Yes, if I want to get out of here. And then we're back. Ooh, Super Princess Peach. That looks cool. I forgot about that game. Yeah, it just goes on and on. Oh, look at that. It's like Donkey Kong and Tetris. Yeah, and this also works with the um, the light guns. Just need to get the dolphin bar and a Wiimote. And uh, you can play all, a whole bunch of light, light gun games. There's over like 100 light gun games. Uh, on this system too, you could put in a video card in it and then uh, play the Wii games. And PS2 games, it would have enough power to run them without any issues. And there's also extra space on the hard drive for you to put those games on there. There's some of them. So I'll show you a GameCube game. So just plug in my controller here on the USB part on the side. Back. So when you're playing one of these games, you gotta make sure your controller is set to input one. So right now it's input three. So go we'll hit that and A. Now number one controller so we'll use this as a controller for the GameCube games Oh, that sounds cool. What are we gonna ride? 
gotta be a vet. Yeah, and the hard drive's way, way faster and then CD-ROM, which was in the GameCube. Pull it wrong button. They never make the cars handle correctly here though. I've owned Corvettes and... You know, like you're doing like 80 miles an hour and a car floating everywhere. Yeah, it's uniting the car's floating. But I know it's an arcade, it's a video game. This game's actually uh, lots of fun. Oh no! All right, let's check. Last place. The turbo. There we go, there we go. Slow down for that car. Oh, just dead stop. I'm going to pass them that straight away. Starting to get better. No. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's doing good too. I've only ever played this once for like a couple of minutes. In the grass again.
<laughs> well, get the idea. Right, there's thousands of games. Just goes on and on. These are actually fun. Backyard baseball. Yeah, Baldur's Gate. Just this game alone. It's like thousands of dollars. So then if I go back, and put this back down here. This guy's gonna go up here. There you go. So now we're in back right order where this is this controller. It's player one and that's player two. So you play a system that needs those controllers like uh, all the arcade games, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, the DS. All will work with this. Daphne, which is like Dragon's Lair and all that. All of these, ColecoVision. Counter 64 to work with this. Counter 64 though was a computer. So some of the games you'll need a keyboard. But unlike the uh, Counter 64 Mini, right, plug in a full size keyboard in here. These are more uh, arcade games. And you know Atari of course. There's all the light gun games. Yeah, the light guns, I have uh, other videos of me playing, showing off the light gun games. And uh, yeah. That's all I can think of for this guy. I don't think you can ask for a better uh, software setup on an arcade game-wise. Well, I'm gonna get this one created and shipped out to the customer. On to the next one. <laughs>